Okay, guys, Oscars this weekend. What movie was your favorite movie of the year? For me, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. I always say the same thing. Definitely yeah. Oppenheimer. I love poor things. The holdovers. But I would say Oppenheimer was my favorite of the year. It was too long, but it was but still it was a great good. time. It was great. Time. You saw it three you times. You saw it three times? That's nine hours of your life, brother. You watched Oppenheimer three times. Three times. Yeah, I see your face. The Oscars are this weekend, people. I have some thoughts. Our next guest. Also have some thoughts about this and more. They are the co-host of the award-winning Still Processing podcast, New York Times critic at large, Wesley Morris, and staff writer for New York Times Magazine, Jay Wortham, are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you I, for having I us. I saw your little stank face when they said Oppenheimer. <laughs> your lip, Three Oppenheimer Your lip books. curled up like you had bitten a lemon, Wesley. Oh. So you didn't care for Oppenheimer? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Security. Are you serious right now? Why? It's a... I, I like, it's like a documentary, but with acting. Great <laughs> like, acting. Is it great? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let me ask you guys a question. Who did you care about in this movie? Mm. Was there a person that you I actually felt cared about anything? Oppenheimer? Okay. I, I came out of that movie and Googled everything. I wanted to know everything about him. I wanted to know everything about See, that time. See, this is the other thing about you go to these movies, and then you have more questions. Like, you shouldn't be Googling no, anybody. No, it's not questions. I just wanted to know more about it. Okay. That's all. I mean, listen. I really thought it was Matt so Damon, well done. Robert Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr. is the best thing in the movie. <laughs> what about no, Robert Killian Downey Jr.? Movie. No, 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 what? no, no, okay. no, no, so no. My... Emily Blunt? <laughs> now you're just naming Oscar nominees. It's just... <laughs> they were all in the, the Hoppenhammer. <laughs> Everybody in Hollywood was in the movie, which is why it's going to win the Oscars. Well, because like, they, they, they picked great all actors. These people to job. Okay, Mr. Morris, who would you like to see win? Of the ten Mr. movies? Mr. Cranky Pants, uh, yes. <laughs> Since you didn't care for Oppenheimer, clearly. I, I don't hate the movie, just to be clear. I just don't love it. I don't... It oh, was. I loved people, it. I loved okay. it. Okay. Of okay. the ten... Did you movies, like Cord's movie? I did like Cord's. American I love that we're calling him Cord. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows We had him Cord. on the show. It was awesome. <laughs> What's his name? Fiction. His name is Cord. <laughs> right. for, for the people at home, Cord Jefferson yeah. yes. is his full government name. Okay. Um, I do like that movie. Okay. Um, it reminds me a lot of, in its way, of Hollywood Shuffle. Mm -hmm. I um, love Jeffrey Wright and mm -hmm. Sterling K. Brown. I, They're I, wonderful. I, I really would love America. America we, you, we call it Court's movie, but the official American name is fiction. American fiction. Yes. yes. But yeah. uh, Sterling was amazing. Yes. And Jeffrey Wright, I just love Jeffrey Wright. He was I love amazing. Jeffrey Wright. I, I think, Jay. Jay, do I you mean... care for Oppenheimer? <laughs> Did you care for Oppenheimer? I'm now. I'm, I'm just with curious. You too. Okay. Yes. I, you You're know, a hater. I, Wait, what's you a hater for real? I, it's true. I mean, I did the Barbenheimer duo that everybody did, and mm -hmm. we saw Oppenheimer first, which was a choice. But I just, I enjoyed it. I found it to be riveting. It's a part of history that I don't know a lot about. It, the, you know, the repercussions are endless and interesting, and it was just, it was fascinating. I thought the acting was good, too. You know why I love that movie? Because mm -hmm. if I went, if, <laughs> no, no, I'm going to tell you, no, no, this is true. And the kid said it, too. If I went to a movie for three hours and it was bad, I would have snapped. Or that's the truth. That's the true tale that was a good movie. Yeah. But three hours, they don't even make three-hour movies anymore. But if you go for three hours, and if... All it, the superhero movies are three hours. I'm not going... Dude, I'm 61 years old. I'm 61 years... I'm waiting on that to come out on the on the plane. I'm just saying. <laughs> and that's a three-hour flight. Charles, that you do you watch a lot of movies, movies on the plane? I, every week. You do? You watch a lot of movies on the plane? I catch up with everything. On the plane. Oh, I do. <laughs> that's the best thing about Wait, Delta. Charles, no. <laughs> the question is, did you watch Oppenheimer on the plane? No, no, no. no it just, first of all, it just came out on the plane, like, last week. <laughs> 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 so he had, ar he had already but seen I, it. I know. I saw it in the theater. Okay. In the lake. But, but seriously, that's why I know it was a good movie. Mm. But if you're going to give three hours, it better be good. Jay, what do you think oh. about Beyonce breaking into country? <laughs> that is a key change, Gail, and yeah, I love it. Yeah, what do you it. think about that? Hmm. You know, and there are some grumblings like, hmm, is it country? Hmm, is it no. okay? What'd yeah. I'm like, is Beyonce's country turn the Oppenheimer of the music industry? Because it's very controversial. Nah. Why yes. should it be? I agree. Why yeah. not? Why let, should it be? Let yeah. her experiment. I mean, other people have forayed into country music with no seemingly prior experience. Why not let Beyonce just play around with different genres? Why are we trying to make her fit into a movie? Yeah, I think it's very exciting. I can't wait till the whole album comes out. What were you going to say, Wesley? Whoa. I just, what? Uh, look at that video. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. You, you okay, is... Mr. Barkley? Uh, yeah, I... Is it too much for you? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs>
Have you not seen that before? I have not seen that before. You have not seen that before. <laughs> I have not seen that before. So are you going to be going on Charles, tour? you got to get out the house. You, yeah. You, hey, you want to go to that They don't. They don't have that on Delta. I've, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I'm going to get a copy of King Charles. I, need to... <laughs> I can see Beyonce on here. Um, I think it's great. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I We were talking yesterday mm -hmm. about just how beautiful these two songs are. Yes. And how differently beautiful carriages. they are. 16 carriages. and Texas um, Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. And... I just think that, well, I, I am interested in this question of not just with respect to Beyonce, but just it, it writ large, what is country music and how would you identify it? Now, there's a musical logical answer to that question, mm -hmm. but I'm really curious about when we can say that the reason that Beyonce mm -hmm. isn't played on country radio is racism or these DJs who play country music all day long being like, this doesn't, I don't recognize. You don't what think is, it's not, you think it's not racism? No, no, no. I, I'm i not saying it isn't, Charles. I'm just, I'm, but they I'm are, wondering if it's possible. Well, okay, so, 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 so what about Kane Brown, Mickey Guyton, mm. Darius Rucker? Why do they play them? Why do they have a problem with Beyonce? Mm. Because I, I mean, What's her Nashville relationship? The Nashville, the kissing of the rings in country music is really important. But we should say right? they are like, playing her. In the beginning, there was a little pushback yeah. because the radio station didn't realize she had a country song. And then once they realized she had a country song, because when it first happened, one radio station said, well, we don't play Beyonce. They said that before they realized she had a country she, song. Right. Yeah, and then once they heard it, <laughs> well, once they realized... Did they play it because they heard it and got the backlash? No, no, I think I, I think they legitimately, legitimately didn't know that she had a country song. I think she I told do. everybody she was coming out with a country <laughs> song, Gail. She, but, no, but no, she did. Not, listen, she I mean, did. people I, were calling did. in to request it. People right. were calling in over yes. and over again to push back against the station to say, this country song's out, we want to hear it. It, it has to be But it's of now both. number one. It's number one everywhere. It's On one. all the genres, it's number one. So. Yes, but... The way Billboard, in the wake of Lil Nas X and the controversy, the sort of the r actual racism that kept him off the out of the top mm -hmm. spot on the country the chart, yeah. Billboard went back and reconfigured how the chart worked, yeah. how they tabulated the way that certain genre numbers are, are tabulated and turned well, into, well, you know, the well, one through ten, yeah, Billboard, or whatever. Treating Lil Nas X because he was black or because he was gay? No, no, no. It's not a Billboard. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to say it's not a Billboard thing, but Billboard was trying what to. What about the gay thing, which is discrimination also, I might add? It could be. Let's just throw all of the isms out okay. there as a reason that he was not played on country radio. Although, at the time, the gay part wasn't as apparent. It was not. Right. Yeah. So really what we are probably focusing on with Little Nas X at the at the beginning when when Old Country Old Town Road, Road came, came out, out yeah. um it was that it did not sound the way the 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 country Nashville establishment mm. thought a country You didn't song notice the horse sound. in the video? <laughs> <laughs> They're not watching the video, Charles. And then people so people do have a problem I, I with did, Beyonce. I I mean right. listen, I'm not a, like I love, I like country music, but I did I when I saw too. the video I said, well well, he's on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> but then Billy Ray Cyrus comes along. Who? And that's the thing it. that yeah. legitimizes yeah. the song as being more The horse didn't do country. it? The horse no. wasn't. Oh, you know, it, it was a great no. song. It was, it was yeah, a great, great song. It was a great song. But to Jay's point, they also, people... People have people a just big have. problem with Beyonce. And they always have. They always have. You mean have. it's probably, arguably, I mean, like... Gail spent her whole summer following uh, Beyonce and Taylor Swift around. I only <laughs> went to four shows, Charles. Only went she, to four shows. Arguably, I went to Taylor and Beyonce. She's arguably yes, the I biggest did. star in the world. It's yes. between her and Taylor Swift. They're the totally. two biggest stars in the world. Mm. Why would you have a problem playing her song unless, like, it clearly is racism? I, I'll say it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not afraid to say it. I just want to explore what the other options could be, right? But guys, they are playing it, and it's number one at the top of country to someone on Billboard. So but the all hail the queen is what I say. All chart, hail the queen. The airplay chart number is the thing you really want to look at with this song, with both these songs, right? right with like, it. where on the country airplay chart? She could be at the top of the country, like, writ like the whole chart that combines streaming numbers downloads and airplay but i'm focused on the airplay chart 
because that is the choice that the stations are making about what to do with the song. I'm going to download that. I don't like to download that video. I don't like to have homework. I just Dale, you just on. said you left Oppenheimer and Google his all night long. Because I want to learn more about it. Wesley, thank you. You Jay. gave yourself homework. Always good to see you. Always. <laughs>